Hello boys and girls, this is Pablo from Airsoft Nelson Views Blog and you are watching another review. We wanted to start this off by saying that we got three replicas which we think you would be very interested in. Reason for that is because these three replicas cover everything that you might need in their packages. We have Vulcan Alloy Series Mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 3. And if I may say there are some size differences, but trust me, they do not matter in this case. Now we took our time reviewing these guns, testing them out for you so you would know if they're good or not. And at the end we can tell you that there are some very, very strong suits for these guns to be used. Reason for that is because out of the box you're getting something that very, very little competitors can show you or provide you. You're getting a full metal gun with, in this case, Mark 1 has a key mod rail, Mark 2 has an M lock rail and Mark 3 has an M lock rail as well. You can feel when you hold that gun that it is very, very sturdy, very tight, nothing's gonna break loose, fall apart or anything like that, which you might expect for that price range. Now, it would be good if it just stopped there, you're getting a sturdy gun for a decent price. But appears that Vulcan itself went a little bit further. It didn't stop with the looks and it didn't stop with the metal body and the alloy series. Uh, they continued their, their strive to make a better gun with the internals as well. But let's go a little bit back. We have a Mark 1, which is a small size, lightweight and high performance alloy series. It features a seven inch CNC free float Kimon rail Lightweight, tough, high quality aluminum alloy bodies which are melt to finish and then hard coated to create a tough exterior. Vulcan have designed a comfortable SPR setup. The internals of this high performance AG are definitely worth mentioning. Also, the alloy series comes with a high speed motor which has a vented motor plate. 18 to 1 ratio gear set with an 8mm steel bushings on both sector and spur gears and 8mm bearing on the bevel gear. Now the version 2 gearbox which is used in these guns which has proven itself to be a very very sturdy gearbox is installed with a micro switch trigger this time and Vulcan have designed and tested it with 11.1 lipo batteries for a solid trigger break and reset for a fast response. Combine this with a low resistance steel wiring and you'll get a great performance and optimum battery consumption. The gearbox also features a quick change spring guide and a full metal tooth piston. The piston is manufactured with a second tooth removed. This is to account for the correct angle of engagement and ensure smooth following high speed performance. Around and in front of the piston is a Type 2 brass cylinder with a polymer cylinder head, a ported pistol head and even distribution air nozzle and reinforced tappet plate. Back to the barrel, the inner carbon steel is 6.03 barrel which is considered tight bore and is fitted into a precision adjustment polymer hop-up unit and a 70D full seal bucking for a great short barrel rifle. Now these perform, as stated by the manufacturer, around 340 FPS. As I can tell you that more correct is somewhere around 370 to 380. That is what we've got on the Chrono playing with these guns at Border War and Protector. Now what are the differences between three, these three guns? Except for the appearances and longer barrels, there aren't many reason for that is because they are all made at by the same pattern they all have a metal body alloy rail difference between key mod and m lock however all three come with a lower small picatinny rail which means that if you do not have an additional picatinny rail you still can mount that vertical grips just like that 
There are two side Picatinny rails for flashlights and some other lasers and stuff that you guys might like. You have a huge amount of real estate on that Mark III, decent amount of course on Mark II, and reasonably enough, not very much real estate when it comes to Mark I since it is a short barrel or PDW type of a gun. All come with a crane stock, lipo ready. Now Mark 1 and Mark 2 also come with a polymer flip-up sights apart from Mark 3 which comes with an angle flip-up sights. Uh, they're very sturdy, no wobbling of any kind, something to be considered out of the box for that type of a gun. Now I started off personally playing with Mark 1. It showed very very positive results playing and protector with it especially as you need to consider the situation where you find yourself with a short barrel rifle in the woods playing with people using ptws or some other high-end guns or god forbid hpas but results were excellent and i can tell you that there aren't many differences between the range of all three guns they all shoot very accurately around 50 to 60 meters i mean you can really really group and tight your shots and get a very very good a player response from these rifles now what i did in my last games i started playing with 0.3 bbs and the consistency was still there there weren't many mishaps with it and it really amazed me. I mean, take into consideration you're playing with a gun that has 340 FPS to 360 depending uh, on the weather of course and everything else. And you put 0.3 BBs and you still hit those targets 50, 60 meters away through the bushes. I would personally stick with a Mark III. Really has that black look you know tight gives you options to play but by all means if you if you constantly play in the arenas or if you play cqb a lot go for mark one maybe mark two but you will be amazed what you get out of the box and the most important thing of course is you take it out of the box and it already looks cool that would basically be it for this review. I really hope you like it. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I would like to personally thank Vulcan for these three amazing guns. And I hope they will just continue doing what they're doing right now, bringing us budget guns that really don't look that way. They look more. Thank you, Vulcan. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Take care, boys and girls.